Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and welcome to Plants and Tings. In today's video, I decided to do a little mini greenhouse update. Um, I did get some comments in the original video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it up in the cards. I think it's on this side, I don't know. I'll link it up in the cards, the original video that I did about setting up my mini greenhouse. It was a struggle to get it set up, but it's been up and running for the past month now, so I figured this would be a good time to give an update on that. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like this type of plenty content, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, like the video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And let's get into the video. Okay guys, so if you remember, I have my mini greenhouse in my bedroom here in the corner and there's a little bit of different things going on here. I'll get into all of that, but first I'm just gonna talk about, hi Lulu, hi. Okay, but you, okay, okay. careful, careful. Excuse me, we're recording, thank you. Hi Mia, hi Momo, how are you? Okay, say hello. All right, back to what we're here for. So if you guys remember, I have my mini greenhouse in my bedroom here. I did make a couple changes to the mini greenhouse that I'll explain first before I kind of get into what's going on outside of the mini greenhouse. So let's look inside. I don't even know if I can remember exactly what plants I started off with in this mini greenhouse because I've moved stuff in and out. So let's just see. Um, the first adjustment I made was this little hydrometer, I think it's called. It measures the humidity on the bottom here and the temperature. Because I just opened it, of course, it's dropping, but it's usually about 60 to 65% humidity in here. And also, if you can see up top, I added a fan up there. So those are the two adjustments that I made besides moving plants in and out of it. Those are the two main adjustments. So the reason I got the fan was because I added these here which are bulbs. I did a, I purchased a mystery bulb set on Facebook. And if you see my previous video, you know I love Facebook pages. So it was $10 for 20 bulbs. Okay, that's like 20 plants. Can you believe that? So some of these have multiple, you can see there's multiple bulbs in here. Some just have one. This one, I don't remember, it's buried. So just from her instructions, she said the smaller ones could be left exposed and the bigger ones should be buried. So that's what all these little bulbs are here. I wanted to do an experiment and put one in perlite. So that's what that is. And I don't know what plants they are. They didn't come labeled. <laughs> so we'll have to see. So the reason they're outside of the mini greenhouse, originally I put them inside and I had them lined up here. But a couple days later, there was these nasty little bugs like lined up on the top of this bulb. Like it was so disgusting. Um, I believe that they were aphids because they were too big to be um, thrips. And so I took them out. And what I noticed was that when I had it enclosed in here with all of these pots of bulbs, it got so foggy and so humid in there um, it was just too much so I took them out and then I decided I needed to get a fan the other reason I got a fan was because and if you can see it there's some little bit more developing on here the little mildew mold developing on my cordyline um, these two are fine but they kept developing mold so I said okay I need airflow so that's why I put the fan in here and I just keep it I'm gonna try to show it again I just keep it on low and you can see the crystallinum is kind of blowing in the wind a little bit and the leaf of my Gloriosum finally fell off. So, spoiler alert, but look at this new leaf, gorgeous. So anyways, that's how I came to the conclusion that I needed to add a fan. So that was the biggest change. Uh, once I see that like the fan is working with my quarter lens and reducing the um, excess moisture in the air, then I will feel safe to put, oh gosh, <laughs> then I'll feel safe to put this back but for now I'm just leaving them outside of them so to treat oops sorry <laughs> to treat these I just used like an alcohol swab I wiped them down a couple days ago and then sprayed it with like the home garden um, insect killer and then I did it again today and I hope that it's gonna be okay I don't know if it's okay to even put those on bulbs but that's what I had to do I just did what I had to do so 
let's look at what everything is all that's going on in here um <laughs> my black velvet is looking quite sad um but it does have a new leaf there i'm not sure why this is happening i do know i do need to water it it has been a little bit i'm not gonna lie i've kind of neglected the plants in here because it has its own little ecosystem in here and so it's easy to just kind of like let them go but i do know that they need to be watered so i'll be doing that today I'm not sure what's happening to my little Syngonium. Um, I usually keep on top of it because it's so easy to water because it's so tiny, but I did have it on the heat mat and it was right under the um, grow light, so I don't know if that was too much for it, but I moved it up top off the heat mat. My, oops, <laughs> sorry guys, my Pathos Enjoy has a little leaf coming in there, so that's good. This needs to go, obviously, <laughs> but like I said, look at this little baby. That's good. Cordelin, we talked about those. Um, I don't even think, do they need water? No, they look pretty good. They don't need water. My crystallinum, I'm excited about. So when they say, you know, I put the moss around here and it's been helping a whole lot. There's a little tiny, oh shoot, <laughs> leaf coming out there and the roots are doing really good. Um, so it was definitely helpful to put this moss around it. However, I ran out of some good moss and I got some moss from Home Depot and it's terrible. So <sighs> I ordered some more good moss because you can see, as you can see, this is terrible. It dries out easily. It's the same stuff that's on here. It's like twigs, not even moss. I put it on top of this Gloriosum because it had, okay, clearly, yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> that's why i got some new moss on the way so there was basically an aerial root coming out of there that i wanted to encourage the growth of it so the fan is blowing the dry behind moss we're just gonna leave it alone and i added this in here oh gosh this prop box i'm gonna have to put you down unless i can do it with one hand okay there we go so i did a trade on facebook for a wide form Adansonii for a narrow. I gave her a narrow form Adansonii and she gave me a wide form. So it was looking pretty rough. And she gave me a whole plant, but it was looking really rough. So I just chopped it all up, put it in some perlite. Or maybe I should water it again. Perlite, it feels a little moist, but I mean, it has some good condensation in there, but that's what's going on. This has only been in here a couple days, but this leaf is growing pretty well. Uh, let me lay it flat actually so that it doesn't touch the top of the lid so that's what's going on there oh i broke it okay um this one is the same as the one that i had before um i did end up taking out the the lighting is terrible i did end up taking the epi out and as soon as i took it out the white started to crisp which was pretty sad but I think it's gonna be okay. I might need to add a little more water in here. I'll do that later. And what's in here, this is a plow mini eye chunk and it's growing a leaf. I'm so happy about that. So we're gonna leave that there. Um, I think this is a Brazil also having a little growth there. This, look at this. My Pathos and Joy is doing good. Um, another Brazil. I don't think this one's doing good. We'll leave it though. And another, I think this another Pothos Enjoy also doing good. So the things that are in here are doing pretty okay. They're doing pretty okay. I'm really excited about my Plow Mania though. So that's that. And on the bottom shelf, um, let's see, how can I adjust this? There we go. Um, this pot, this um, burly marks, the leaf finally came out, and I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> it looks really odd. Um, I'm just gonna hope for the best with the next little leaf, that little tiny that you can see there. Gonna hope for the best with that one, but I don't know. I have no idea what happened with that leaf. Anywho, <laughs> my Brazil also has a new little leaf coming down there. I think this is a goner, but. We'll see, I'll let it for a little bit longer. And this is my Pastazanum chunk, also doing well. Can you see there are two activated nodes at one time? Do you think it's gonna give me two leaves at one time? That's so crazy. 
that's that my croton is also doing really good look at those new leaves up there the new leaf there I had remember this stick that had the tiniest little leaf I swear it grew out a leaf that was like an inch long and then it recently fell off I don't know what happened to it but it fell off but yeah that's pretty much what's going on in my mini greenhouse these days uh, like I said I plan on returning these um, b uh, bulbs back but I'm gonna give it a little time because I just treated them again today. I don't want any issues with the plants that are in there doing really well. Um, I checked this burly marks also because I thought maybe it has pests or something. Like, why does it look like that? Why did it grow out like that? But there's literally nothing on the plant, so I don't know. But I'm gonna just just to be on the safe side, make sure these bulbs are okay before I put them back in, and then I'll see hopefully with the airflow of the fan that it won't get too um, moist in there. I moved out my fry deck because it was getting too tall and the leaf was burning up there uh, so I moved it out it seems to be okay we'll see and then I also moved out this I had both of my black velvets in there but the same thing it just seemed like it was getting too much light and this one also because you see how the leaves are like angled down like that I believe it's because there's too much light but I don't know I'm losing my joy with these black velvets to be honest so I'm gonna do some rearranging, find a better spot for them and give it another chance. Change the moss on those two Floriosum and Crystallinums. And I think that's it. That's all that's going on with my mini greenhouse. So that is the updates on my mini greenhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm pretty happy with the results of them. I would say it took about maybe one and a half to two weeks to actually start seeing some changes and i was worried about those little chunks that you guys saw of the passizanum and the plowmania but i'm for sure convinced that it being in that mini greenhouse like sparked the growth of those so i am so happy with the with the results of my mini greenhouse if you haven't already like made one for yourself or bought one definitely consider it it's so helpful for those like baby plants or sensitive plants to just like spark some growth in them especially now in the winter time so um if you have any suggestions about my mini greenhouse um anything that would be helpful or something that you've tried that you found helpful please feel free to drop it in the comments below thank you for watching and see you next time